Jesus? Oh, flip. Marcelli! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Yes! Yes! That's how you score, baby! What's goody, everybody? It's full time tripping. We're back in the building after the final whistle of the Arsenal game. We have won the game officially. Arsenal 2. Uh, Aston Villa one uh, goals coming from Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel Martinelli and on the Aston Villa side a goal came from Douglas Luiz uh, I mean what you make of the game we got we got stay ghosting with us you know what I'm saying in the building as well uh, a really nope. really really interesting game that came but uh, you know what I'm saying five from five man top of the league man talk to me how you feel about it five for five I can't really complain you know like this is this is a different Arsenal I'm seeing like the team. They're showing fight. Like, when we go down a goal, like I said, I mentioned in a couple games before, like, when we go down a goal, we've got this mentality to, like, not just drop our heads and, you know, mope around on the pitch. Like, we, we keep it active and, we you know, we're trying to get a goal back, like, immediately. And we've done that in a couple scenarios now. And to see, like, our team do that is, that's probably the biggest thing to take away from me because, you know, our team morale is, bro, like, one goal can just ruin our whole team's flow, but we keep the same energy. We keep it pushing, and yeah, I'm happy with the team. Right. Mm -hmm. so yeah, no, 100%. 100%. I agree with you, man. I think that's been our, one of our, one of the strongest suits that we're developing. You know, it's, it's one of our biggest traits, bro. We're not, we're not wiltering after a goal goes in. We're not giving up in a sense, man. Like, it's, it's, it's one of the biggest mm -hmm. assets that we've grown now is our, that fighting spirit, that willing, that willingness to get back in a fight and not give up. Like, we're scoring, like, literally like five minutes after goals we concede. And it's it's ridiculous at this point. It's ridiculous, and we're we're looking really really good. But in terms of the performance, man, we we're dominant in the first half. Uh, second half, we ran into some trouble, uh, loss of control in, in, in a certain sense, man. Uh, how did you yeah. feel about Arsenal's performance uh, from first half to second overall against Aston Villa from from a you know for performance and tactical perspective? Um, first thing I'm gonna say is I feel like in the first half, Aston Villa should have been three 0 down. I feel like they had some solid chances to like kill the game early. Like, I do feel like that's that's one area that we do still need to work on, like, getting... Because even, like, last season, there's a lot of games we'll get that first goal, but then the other team equalised, and it's like, we have so many opportunities to kill the game from early, but we are creating more chances, we are more of a threat. I feel like teams are definitely nervous once we get into them attacking areas, but overall, we do need to just... Just tidy up the finishing. Like I, I don't know what it is with the players. Like maybe they just need to relax a little, or I don't know. There's no like I don't know, bro. But they just need to do better in the finishing mm -hmm. area. I think because especially when it's like practically two open goals. Like I'd get it if you was like in and around the box and there's like defenders on you. But when you've got the goal right in front of you and you pretty much just gotta like tap it in. But I'm just seeing it go up into the air. I don't know if it's a donation for the fans. They get a free football, but bro. I need that to go in the back of the net, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I hear you. Open goal. But second half, mm. again, like you said, we ran into some some trouble. Mm. But overall, like, despite that, like I said, our players kept the same intensity. I feel like, um, you know, they stuck together. There were some injury concerns. Like, a lot of people looked like they did have some problems, like Odegaard, even Ramsdale. I hope that doesn't pop up in the future to cause any, like, you know, worry or concern. Mm. and yeah that's what it is for me i can't lie yeah man i was i was just about to transition into that as well with the injuries man and given there's only about a day and change left in the window uh do you think it's time to really bring in some more players considering the injury you know spell that we have right now with a few players yeah definitely i feel personally like if it, it's not up to me but if it was i feel like we need to bring in at minimum two players mm. but if it was up to me i'd want three because we we need like some depth like Partey, you know, dealing with problems, El Nenny, and don't get me wrong, shout out Lakonga because he's done decent today. I can't really point out any areas that he done anything that made me think, like, yo, what are you doing at the same time? Mm. Could have probably contributed more with attacking, but I feel like his role more so is to just like clean up, keep things stable, you know, help yeah. defend. So, yeah, yeah, we now, definitely need to what, do some 100%. Training, 100%. I agree, man. Again, kudos, kudos to, um, to, um, what's it called? Sambi today. He was actually very, very good. Didn't put a foot wrong, in yeah. my opinion, uh, with his performance. But, uh, yeah, considering that, we need signings, bro. Uh, we need, we need to give Saka some support on the wing. We need to give him mm -hmm. so, something to competition and support to help us do all these different competitions. We're starting the Europa League next week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, we're, we're going into like a real busy period from now. We're in the thick of it. 
Yeah. And it's only going to get worse for us. So we can't risk any more injuries. We have to bolster the squad as much as we possibly can. Uh, in terms in terms of that, uh, you know, goalkeeper situation, I don't know if we're going to go for another goalkeeper. We, I don't think we really need to, in a sense, but I hope it's nothing major. Again, with Odegaard, yeah. we have some help there, but it's, we're starting to spread a little thin, man. That central mid area, I think that's priority number one. We have to get that short with mm-hmm. a, defen- a defensive midfield replacement ASAP. Somebody that can, again, pull that parte role just as simply, you know what I'm saying? Somebody to at least support in that in that way while he's out. You know what I mean? We have yeah. to we have to address that. That's number one. You got about 20, 25, maybe 24 hours to make that happen. Like it's it's time, man. Edu, Edu, Edu and them gotta be on job. This is like the crunch time. We have to get these two signings in. Two plus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All, all right, man. Yeah, man. Hey, but listen, overall, it's been a pretty good day, man. Five from five wins. Beat Aston Villa. Uh, I think it's been a, a pretty good outing overall. Manchester United next, bro. How you feel about that really quickly before we get out of here? Well, Man United, bro, I feel like... Wait, one thing I don't know. Are we home or away for that game? We're at Old Trafford, aren't but, we? Yeah, we're at Old Trafford. Yeah, I feel like a game like that, you know it is. Mm. It can't be like the first half of these other games. Yeah, uh-huh. Once we get a chance, we need to kill them. Like, we need to bring like the game to them at their own stadium. If we like try to just play casually, you know, just passing around position. They will start pressing us. Like, don't think because it's mm. Man United, they're a bit of a rough patch that, you know, they're not going to bring the game to us. This is Arsenal versus Man United. Like, this... Yeah. All this stuff is like... This is bragging rights, bro. Like, yeah. you know how Man United and Arsenal fans get? Like, this is a game we need to take it to them, get the dub and keep the form pushing, bro. That's it. That's all I'm going to say on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. I get you, bro. I get you, bro. But yeah, man. Uh, It's been... It's been a real interesting uh, game week so far. Got another game week to go. Games on Sunday. It's going to be a big one, uh, but hopefully we can get a double or Manchester United and keep it moving, make it six from six, and, you know, hopefully do some big things in the league, man. But that's all we got for this video today. We are out of here. Peace.